I was in college and had a lot of uncertainty about where I wanted to be, how to pay, and I just really didn't like my college. I didn't like the people or, or what it stood for. I mean, that's fine, I guess. Some colleges aren't for everyone. I wanted to transfer since my first year, but I was scared and I didn't know where to go. Sophomore year came and went. And by junior year, I was fed up. <laughs> I remembered my dreams of transferring and started looking around. I told myself that if I'm meant to stay at the school, it will all work out. Or I'll find something even better. Well, I did find something even better. But it was way above what I thought I could accomplish. It was a great school the perfect location and had my exact sort of weird major that I wanted to pursue. But I was, I was way too scared. I, I just didn't think I could do it or, or pay for it. But then the bridge of incidents started happening. My school was just getting more and more difficult with the students and the administration and I kept seeing signs of the particular college I wanted to go to literally everywhere. It was popping up in my social media in weird ways, or it would show up in books and articles I was reading. I mean, it got to the point where it was so hard to ignore. I felt it pulling out at me. My final bridge of incident events that happened was that I actually cried when thinking of walking on the campus. I was visualizing at the time and I hadn't actually been on the campus before, but the visualization was so vivid. And I mean, even lately when I've imagined it, it, it would make me emotional. I could really feel myself there. So I chose to see all these signs as the fact that, you know, it was mine. And that I was a student there, but it was still difficult to imagine how I was going to pay for it. I don't know, maybe get a second job, maybe investing. I didn't know what to do. Well, I had a meeting with this college I so desperately wanted to be in about financial aid and then they told me about the scholarship for certain students. They were reading out the criteria and I, I didn't fit all the criteria, but I knew it was mine. I, I knew, I knew this was the way. So I just acted like it was all mine. I'm working, but I'm not stressed about making a lot of money because, well, school's paid for. I mean, that's what I told myself. I changed my computer wallpaper to a collage, kind of like a dream board, and I would just wake up every morning, every day, just embodying the idea of being in the school, like making it real, like actually making it in my body that I was there. Well, it happened. I got my acceptance and I literally cried when I saw it on my computer screen I have never been happier oh my gosh I actually got the scholarship I got admitted and I got the scholarship I got college paid for you don't understand what that means to me I have always struggled in the past and I came from a poor family who only had one college graduate in the entire family. I am beyond words. I know I manifested this and I know the world is mine. But right now, this is so amazing. I got in and I got the scholarship. Did you enjoy that college admissions manifestation success story? If you did, there's a whole lot more of them in this playlist on screen right now.